What's up, O fans? It's Sam here at Sunset in the Great Outdoors for another episode of Olight 101. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the variety of light sources that Olight has throughout the lineup and different reasons why you might want to carry more than just a flashlight. Olight has models like the Seeker 4 Pro, which makes a great floodlight, or the Warrior Ultra, which makes a great spotlight. And here in the great outdoors, those make excellent choices. But Olight is well known for combining different types of light into single platforms, including a laser, a red light, a UV light, and maybe more. So let's give you some examples about where each one of those light sources can come in handy. Out here in the great outdoors, I have the Oclip Pro with its combination of spotlight and floodlight. That's great for navigating around camp, but also the presence of red light, really handy in the great outdoors. Now, red light is meant to preserve your natural night vision. For example, if you've been out in the dark for 15 or 20 minutes, you can see a lot better than if you just walk into a dark room. And with red light, you can maintain your night vision while illuminating the general area. And it has the side benefit of not a attracting so many bugs and mosquitoes. Another thing you can do in the great outdoors is bust out your fancy telescope to look at the moon and the planets. And that's what we're doing right here. Red light is perfect for occasions like this because as you look through the eyepiece, you wanna make sure that your eyes can see all the light that's being captured by the telescope. So if you're operating under red light, you've got that natural night vision ready to go. Wow, I love taking a nice long view of these beautiful wide open spaces and that's where a light like the Marauder Mini 2 really comes in handy because it's got a floodlight for seeing everything in front of you and getting to these beautiful vistas and then it's got a spotlight for seeing these beautiful views after dark. And it's invaluable to have both so you can see the immediate area and you can see a lot further with a flick of a switch. It also has red light, green light and blue light. Now we've already discussed what red light is for. Green light also has a purpose in the great outdoors to be less visible to game animals. Not that you're supposed to be sneaking up on deer at night. And then there's blue light have higher contrast when you're following a blood trail. So if you are a hunter and you take a shot at dusk, which is the last time of day where you're supposed to take your shot, and if your deer starts running away, you can use the blue light to search along the ground for any drops of blood. They'll show up as a really dark black spot against the blue background of the rest of the area. So that's a really popular use of blue light. Now another great example of multiple lights in one platform is the Arkfeld series, which includes a green laser and a UV light. Some people ask, what are those even for? But I can tell you, if you carry an Arkfeld Pro with a green laser pointer on it, you're gonna find a reason to use that green laser pointer. In everyday life, I use the laser pointer all the time. If you need something off of a high shelf, you can point it out. If you need something, uh, if you wanna point someone in the right direction, you can point it there as well. Out here in the great outdoors, you can use it in conjunction with your telescope because if your eyes are adapted to the dark, you're operating under red light, you can use the laser pointer and sometimes you can even see the beam and use it to point out interesting things in the night sky. But definitely don't point it at helicopters or aircraft. Additionally, the UV light on the Arkfeld Pro is something that you might not think you need, but you'll find reasons to use it all the time. Out here in the great outdoors, you can use it to point at rocks, to find interesting uh, Eupra lights or various other fluorescent material. Even some lichen can gl glow under UV light. But in everyday use, UV light is great for checking the cleanliness of hotel rooms, verifying currency and identification. Another thing I like to use uh, UV light for is charging up your glow in the dark stuff. Now flashlights are great for seeing what's in front of you and what's further ahead. But Olight also offers a variety of ambient lighting solutions, including the Sphere, which is an RGB ambient light that has a lot of awesome motion color effects that you can program through the app or you can access by just using the button on the bottom. Now these red, green, and blue effects, uh, motion, color, it's all really nice to have around the camp, you know, while you're traveling or just around the house at night. The prowess, which is both a floodlight and an area light. You can see here that the area light lights up the campsite in a way that a regular flashlight 
simply won't do. And one of my all-time favorites for camping is the O-Lantern series. We just released the O-Lantern Classic 2 Pro Smart, and that smart means that it will run on Bluetooth so that you can adjust the brightness from inside the tent while the light is out there on your picnic table. But this nice warm white effect is very ambient. I love the shadows that it casts. I love that it's easy on the eyes. But as you turn the lantern all the way up, it shifts to this more neutral white without any shadows shadows to really evenly light up the picnic table for when you're playing cards or washing the dishes or cooking a meal, whatever you need to do around camp. So there you have it, a nice brief overview of some of the Olights that include multiple different light sources in one easy to use platform and some of the reasons you might want to carry those light sources. Do you have any questions? Please leave us a comment and if you've learned anything from this video, please leave a like. I appreciate it when you do and most importantly, subscribe to the Olight World YouTube channel for more Olight 101.